judgment, analysis, criticism, we're either going to be, at the end of the night, unbeatable or in big trouble. You know? <laughs> uh, but we know the drill. Um, when a guy comes to a new team, it takes time uh, for him to get comfortable with his teammates. Um, and when a guy's coming off an injury, it takes time to really get your rhythm. So that's the biggest thing we're looking at, is just trying to uh, ease him back in, give him some confidence, and uh, find a comfort zone early on. And then over the coming weeks, uh, we'll find a good. So with the job he's done, the work he's done to get back, what do you want this day is what do you think this game is for him? Uh, I just want him to enjoy being back out on the floor more than anything. Um, you know, it's easy to get caught up in everything other than what really matters, which is a, a player in the prime of his career having a really big injury and now trying to come back from it. Um, so we, wanna, we want him to enjoy the process. Um, uh, we want him to be able to play through the inevitable frustration that's going to come from being out for so long. Um, having to face the speed of, of the NBA as opposed to the, uh, the scrimmage season that he just got through with our coaches and the film crew. Um, obviously, uh, going to be different and a lot different. So we just want him to enjoy it and uh, be patient. We'll be patient with him and we'll help him along. Are there challenges for you in terms of helping manage personalities and egos and everybody on the team? Well, that's the whole job. No matter who, what team you're coaching, uh, that's what coaching is about, is managing, uh, managing 15 players. I like uh, Premier League soccer, they call the coaches managers. I'd like to, from now on, I would like to be known as a manager, if you guys don't mind. I'm going to call me a manager. So, it's all part of it, and obviously it's... Uh, it, it takes on even greater significance when you're talking about this situation with an all-star player, the best players really joining our team, coming off an injury. Uh, so yes, managing is, uh, is the biggest thing. Is there, uh, you know, have you scripted your minutes for Marcus tonight, like patterns throughout? Uh, yeah, we've we've. Um, yeah, I've t I told you he'll, he'll start. Um, I told you guys he'll play short bursts. I don't know how many shoulders. Um We'll just uh, try to get him comfortable and keep our team uh, flowing at the same time, if, if that's possible, and uh, see how it plays out. I think in the front, second and fourth quarter. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your kind of initial thoughts on what the pace will be like when he's on board to start out? I'm pretty sure our guys aren't going to slow down. Uh, you know, we're still going to throw the ball ahead. Uh, I envision uh, DeMarcus trailing the play and uh, Draymond getting out and uh, getting to the uh, to the block. And um, DeMarcus is an excellent three-point shooter. So if we can throw it ahead and score like we do a lot, that's exactly what we're going to do. If we throw it ahead and nothing's there, then we've got a, you know, a guy who can shoot threes and uh, run screen and roll, pick and pop. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of options, but. We're not going to slow things down. Where do you think your team is uh, compared to the last time you played the Clippers? Uh, we're we're uh, light years ahead. <laughs> 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 uh, it's uh, no, I, I'm really proud of our guys. To be honest with you, after I don't, I don't. What was the date of that? Yeah, yeah. that's two months. Uh, more than two months. I'm really proud of how far we've come, of how our guys have uh, gotten to this point. We're playing at a high level, uh, we're playing through frustration, we're playing through adversity. The other night was a great example. Uh, against the Pelicans, we had a lot of chances to kind of just say, all right, it's a back-to-back, -back, went off the Denver game, these guys are on fire, move on to the next one. And they fought and scrapped. And, um, I think it's indicative of where we are as a team, emotionally, spiritually. And we're in a really good place, so very, very proud of the group right. for pulling it out. Draymond mentioned to one of my writers that, that DeMarcus had played a role in sort of diffusing what was going on between him and Kevin that night. Do you remember seeing anything that? No, that I, no I, I wasn't. Uh, I was <laughs> with the coaches. Uh, a talented, strong person.
personalities? Are there things that you can remember from your fun time that help you with the man in the park? Help what? That helped inform how you approach this. Um, I think just being uh, being in the NBA, being on a team in the NBA, um, and being around it for a long time, whether as a GM or a broadcaster or now as a manager, uh, I think uh, you just get a feel for, for the, the daily ritual, the ups and downs of the season, the marathon that the season represents, and how many emotional swings there are, you know, um, and every team goes through it. You know, Clippers have had a great, great season. They're playing at a high level, and now all of a sudden they lost four in a row. So it's their, you know, it's their time where they've got to dig themselves out of the hole. Every team, all 30 teams, go through this. And um, as a coach, it's it's a job to manage you know, the, the situation and we try to help the guys, you know, get back on the right track. But playing in the league was definitely help for me and experiencing those ups and downs um, and helping me to figure out how, how to help out as a coach. The one way will having Marcus be able to kind of fit Moon and, and Draymond and just the other bigs. Uh, well, we'll have more, uh, you know, more fouls to offer. Uh, <laughs> we'll have more, uh, we'll have more matchups to offer. Um, we've got more versatility. And uh, now we've got to figure out how that all works with rotations and uh, substitution patterns. And I don't know if this is thinking too far ahead, but uh, how likely do you see the market closing in? Uh, uh, I think that's thinking way too far ahead. Right. We just want to uh, get through tonight and ease him back in, and uh, whatever happens will, will happen. Uh, we've already had those discussions internally, both, you know, staff as a team um, I think everybody knows uh, we're just trying to win and um, that means um, players have to accept uh, roles they have to accept some nights their night other night it's somebody else's night as long as everybody's pulling together um, and that's how you build a championship team and uh, we've established that over the years and we want to continue Uh, Rick has not told me that, but it's just sort of understood that because he's going to be playing in short bursts, uh, you can probably do some math and figure it out. But I'm not going to give you a, a number because we honestly don't have a good Coach, you, you mentioned the importance when you have long championship runs of just adding new wrinkles or dynamics yeah. to keep things fresh. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to that part yeah. of it? Just the shot in the arm of having yeah. a new... Yeah, all of our guys are, I think, excited for uh, Marcus's arrival and uh, the challenge of fitting him in and helping him along. Uh, uh, we're in the middle of a long season, so this is a new opportunity for us to experiment, try something different, and enjoy that process. All right, thanks. Thank you so much.